Hello YouTube, so today I'll be showing off the brand new pages, which is a free update, part of the iWork package from Apple. So let's just load up the new pages and see what's new. So we are open up and we're presented with a similar pages, so let's just open up one of my files. Let's just make a new document. And here we are presented with a brand new interface. As you can see here, there's no taking, there's different reports. Uh, I think I hate that, I hate about this newer version is that they actually removed the previous the previous templates so now you actually lose some of the templates that you might have liked before so for example there's less brochures now it just feels like there's less variety before there used to be something for marks so you could easily make marks but now you just can't so yeah here you are presented with the interface the interface is quite different generally it's presented like this with the filing like before at the top you have the zoom and view and you have some some general buttons up here for example you can insert footnotes you can insert a table but generally if you want to change the font you have to make the window bigger now I did not actually appreciate this because before when I used to go on Google Chrome I'd have Google Chrome going across half the screen and the other half would be pages but now look pages takes up three quarter of the space and now it takes up this much. Now another problem is that if I want to add bullet notes, let's say I have hello world, and then now I want bullet notes, you have to go to format, you have to go to bullets and lists, and insert a bullet. And okay, wait, it went there now, so let's just get back. Let's delete this, so let's go here. And look, it won't delete, so you have to control Z, space. Now let's try to insert a bullet. There we go. Now it goes on here. And here you can customize it. If you want to shift it over or not, it provides a bit more customization faster. You can change the bullet type so it's like a star. There's different sizes. You can change the dimensions of it. It feels more powerful, but at the same time, it's a bit of a hassle because you have to go all the way to the format section. Here you have different uh, preset values. So, for example, you, you could turn this into your title or your body. So you have a selection of predetermined fonts that you would use. Say for example you want to standardize different documents, you would use this in order to help maintain that. Here you can just do a simple indenting columns and tabs. And you have a couple more like keeping lines on the same page, etc. Now going back into the chart function. Here charts are very it's very clean now, there's 3D charts. It's just very a very nice experience working with these selection of new designs for charts it's also interactive and 2d as for tables tables are a little bit different so now you have this but you can choose between different color schemes so you can have it like that have it like that like that you can also customize the number of box you would want from here so let's say I go to this design let's make it two and now it covers off two you can change the upper parts so it can be based off of two or you can even add one at the bottom, cut some off. The bottom. You can change the outline of the table. You can make it thicker. You can make it less thick. And you have just different commands like changing the row size and column size. Going back into the cells, you have automatic currency, etc. This is probably better with numbers, but it provides basic functionality. Again, you still have to change the font here separately from the actual body text so if you want times new roman you have to go all the way down here or you can just go here and change it back to body whatever you need and then arrangements just positioning etc um, as for conversions this is what a lot of people ask before conversions work a bit differently for conversions you now have the ability to also export for for um, the previous pages 09 and for PDF which I hate now if you require a password to open you don't have any option to actually change the password for editing or printing that was something I used significantly before so that's pretty unfortunate now for Word you still have DLC and now you have a password requirement for the Word file which is pretty interesting you also have plain text and ePublication and pages 09 for your publication, you still can't export templates. Apple just doesn't allow you to. 
And yeah, overall I'd say this interface is very nice, it's clean, but at the same time, it, it's, it's just troublesome because you always have to click the format button, which isn't very welcoming. And it just requires you to use more screen real estate while here. It could have easily fit like they did before. They could have fit um, the ability to change the font up here. And then maybe you wouldn't even need this format bar for basic tools. So yeah, that's just my quick overview of the new pages. I hope you guys enjoy. Just the new design and the look and feel of pages. Thank you for watching.